Hey there, and welcome to BridgeTax.com's tutorial on how to figure out a 95% confidence interval for the Poisson distribution in Stata. How about that for a mouthful? Well, the Poisson distribution is kind of fun. Not a lot of people know about it, but um, you know, if you do statistics, and especially if you work with events, like uh, the number of people getting into a line, number of cars getting into accidents. If you deal with events like that, the Poisson distribution gets used a lot. Now, this isn't the place to talk about the values of the distribution itself. I just want to show you some code. If you are working with this distribution, if you know about it, if you don't, you can contact us at bridgetext.com and we will help you. Anyway, let's say that we have 10,000 uh, people and they're exposed to a disease and 4,000 people die. So this satisfies the conditions of a Poisson distribution. We have a number, right, an event, so you can't have a half a person dying. Um, and what you want to do now is get the 95% confidence interval of that. So instead, of this always starts out with sort of CII means. And then the first number here is here, the total number of people who are exposed, right, which is 10,000. And then we have 4,000 events, which we can count as deaths. Let's put a comma, type in Poisson, and press Enter. And here, once again, uh, without meaning to, I have shown you one of the really annoying things about Stata is that it does not resize stuff when you make the window smaller. So um, I just made the window bigger, and we just ran it again. And what do we have here? We have the mean which, right, you can figure that out, 4,000 divided by 10,000 is 0.4, you have a standard error, but here is the 95% confidence interval. And how can we interpret this? Well, we can say that if, you know, this is our sample, and let's say this is something like COVID, right, to which um, billions of people were theoretically exposed, and we just have a sample. Um, and if the sample is 10,000 people and 4,000 died, um, we can be sort of 95% sure that the true number is between about 3,877 and 4,126, somewhere. That's the function of a 95% confidence interval because we're working with samples, not populations. When we have a proportion of this kind, well, we cannot assume that it is exact. And so depending on the size of the sample, the confidence interval is also going to vary. And so what were, to, what were to happen if, let's say, you keep the same proportion, but just sort of um, shrink the sample? Um, and this is the, sort of without intending to, giving you a quick tutorial on confidence intervals. Notice the confidence interval got wider. So we went from about 339 and 0.41 to 0.36 and 0.44, it got wider. What does that mean? Well, as our sample gets smaller, um, we are less certain of what the actual population proportion or number in this case um, could be, which makes sense, right? The fewer people you sample, uh, the less likely it is that you captured the truth of something, whether proportion or a number. Therefore, the confidence interval expands. Now, you know, you might think, uh, if you know a little bit about Stata, if you work with statistics before, you might think, well, um, I can go ahead and do a CII prop command instead of means and, you know, just not worry about that, right? And let's say if you were doing an, uh, you know, if you added exact there, you would get a different confidence interval. So if you go back and look at our original confidence interval, there are slight but important differences here. So notice we can't do that. Um, with just the uh, exact uh, confidence interval command. And we can't do it with the walled command either because we also do not get quite the same confidence interval. So if you're working with count data and you're interested in precision, that's why we would do, um, that's why we would use Poisson there. I did want to show you one more thing. Um, not everyone is always interested, surprisingly, in 95% confidence intervals. It might be 90 well, one of the great things about Stata is by just adding this code here, comma level ninety, you can you can just really tell it what your uh, you know what your confidence intervals should be, and so you get 90 percent there. And you know if you wanted, you could go ahead and even get that to let's say ninety nine percent, so you can play around with that. Stata is very powerful for something like that.